All right, here we are in the hallway. Jimmy is up in the loft. Sharon, what's she doing? What is he getting shower? Look, what's she doing? Christmas decorations down. Christmas decorations. Ho, ho, ho! She's putting up the Christmas decks with Jimmy. I'm going out in the garden though because I've got lots of clearing up to do. And we'll show you later. Oh, yeah, well, if we get a chance. But I'll sh I'll, we're working in the garden, me and you, so come out with me and we'll see you later. Look, Jimmy's up in the loft, everyone, look. Good boy. Don't drop it. He, he dropped the bag on Sharon's lip. Let's go and have a look at that quickly. Right, what's happened, dear? That fell off of Father Christmas there. We need some repair work. Right. There was a lump on your lip there. Mm. And did you cry, baby? Yeah, it brought tears to my eyes. I'm not ashamed to say. Oh, what a beauty, look. <laughs> you do, baby. You do. Right, well, okay, well, I'm going to have to leave you because we're going outside now because we're looking at the garden. Me. Well, me and the people. Okay. Yeah, it will be, baby. Come on in, let's go outside. Can't put up with all this tomfoolery. See you in a minute. Right, folks, well, as you can see, the leaves around here are uh, really sort of clogging everything up here. Now, these are the Brussels sprouts I was telling you about that uh, I planted last April, March or April. And as you can see there, they've not really flourished at all, have they? Look, absolutely useless, look. So I'm really disheartened over that, as I say, because I was expecting to eat these for Christmas, but um, we just go down the road to one of the farm shops and we can buy them dirt cheap anyway. So that's what's disheartened me about that as well. Now, as you can see in, in the raised bed also, these were the cabbages I planted again around the April, March or April time. And although we've, you can see the gaps there where we've been obviously eating them, but they're not really big enough to do anything. I've seen them in other people's videos and they're really really big and massive sort of thing so these are the the winter ones which i brought afterwards as you remember so they're planted in i've just li literally leave this thing to do its own thing but in general it's it's not been a very good year for the brassicas to be honest with you as i say these lawnmowers here i did mention in my last video that i was probably going to put them in the polytunnel over there and uh, a lot of people said it was a waste of space that you know i should use the polytunnel when i'm actually i was only doing that for the short term because I didn't want these out in the rain anymore these have been out there for about two years and don't forget a lot of these and they're going to need refurbing and the wheels do tend to seize up after a while if they're constantly rained and they've had two years of wear outside sort of thing so that was the only reason I was going to plonk them in the polytunnel and again back in here uh, looking at the chainsaw I went out and brought a new chain as I told you I was going to do but I realized that the pipe piping I'd bought wait there uh, which I'd had a while ago. This is really for strimmers and stuff like that, the fuel pipes and all that. These steels have got purpose-made pipe work for their oil pipe, uh, feed pipes and also the fuel lines and they're purpose-made. So I've had to order them as well. And while I was there, I also ordered a carb kit as well. So someone said that they wanted to see me strip this down and actually repair it because they've actually got one themselves. So I will be doing that. I'll be saving that when the parts come and doing that in the video as well. But as I say, let's go outside now and have a look at this blinking garden and let's try and clear some of this rubbish out here. I'll show you because I've not really done, well, I've not done anything in the polytunnel. Let me show you what state it's in. Right, well, as you can probably see, it's a lovely day out here at the moment. Very windy, but um, I've been wanting to come out in the garden for ages to do some work, but the wet weather's the thing that's been bugging me more than anything. I mean, look at this here, look. As you can see, the leaves are literally just piled up all around the polytunnel area here. And when we get inside, now as I say, I've not watered none of this for literally months and months, but as you can see, somehow, this has really taken off still. And this is the stuff which, I'll, if I'm gonna grow anything, I'll grow this kale again. Uh, because, I mean, that really does look after itself. As I say, I've not watered that whatsoever. Everything else there is dead and ready to be pulled out and disposed of. All these old tomato plants down there, as you can see. And even the uh, spinach down there, as you can remember, I had the spinach. Well, that's not been watered at all, and that's still flourish. So I will grow spinach again. There was some fennel there, which I don't really know if it's grown or not. I've, I've, so I've not really left it at all. I've not done anything with it. Come and show. Look at the state of it in here, look. Again, we've not been in here for ages, have we? That's, as I said, I've just told everyone, that's still going. I had to put these supports up, everybody. You remember these supports that fell down because I just wedged them in? 
Well, I've actually put them back up now and screwed them in. But in here, it's really dark because of all the old... Out. There's a hole there, look, there's a little hole there in the roof. Oh. Probably a stick that's fallen off from the tree above, so... Um, not too sure what to do about that. I might have to put a patch on that, but this really all needs cleaning, but I'm not too worried about it in the winter time. But um, have a look at it. Yeah, that ain't, that ain't really done nothing to beat root. It's not really fair, it's the same No, I know, but, but look at that. That stayed all right, the um... What? Oh. Quick, Sharon, run the phone. Don't run, I've got a bad mouth. <laughs> She's funny, isn't she? <laughs> See you in a minute. Make me a cup of tea, Sharon. I've got work to do here. Look at the state of it. Look. I'm doing work, can I? She's shouting at me now. Look, there's going to be a, there's going to be a ruck. <laughs> anyway, let me carry on now. I'm going to start dragging stuff out here, all these old plants and all that now, and um, might have a little fire, put this stuff on the fire, get it burnt, and try and clear the deck, so to speak. So I'm going to do that now. You wouldn't blink and believe it, it's actually started to rain now. There's a great big black cloud, literally, just above where we are. I'm hoping it's going to pass over with the wind that we got, but it's actually spitting right at this moment, so typical. And that's what's held me off from ages from starting work out here because of the rain. So pouring down, I'm going to have to go in. I'll see you in a minute. Unbelievable. Oh, I am going to. Where's the other one? There's another lid here with a spout on it. Unbelievable. Let's go inside. Look at it. Can you believe that? There was no sign of that a minute ago. Unbelievable. I'm going to have a cup of tea, sod it. There's a bloody big fly in here, look. Look. Oh, he's got to go. Big fly, big fly. Come out of the way, Barney. That one's yours. There's a big fly in here, Sharon. I've got to get it. <laughs> I need to change some bulbs in this kitchen. I've just been up in the loft anyway, because we had the... She's got a little telly which she has in the corner there. Yeah, yeah, I've been without a telly. It took him ten minutes. <laughs> ten minutes. I had to put a new amplifier up. Hey? Yeah. I don't like her watching the telly while she's working in the kitchen. That's why the reason why I've not done it. Well, so, I think there's some truth in that. Hey? No, not really. I'm only joking. Yeah. Here, look. So we bought these. Look, we can get hold of these sort of things. I mean, look at them. Lovely sprouts compared to ours. And how much do these cost, Sharon? Do I have them to me? Oh right. Okay. Well, friend gave them to him, but she gets them from a farm shop. But you can go and pick these. She gets them delivered, doesn't she? she gets them. Yeah, she has a, a lot like, vegetable baskets. Oh, now I want to say something. When you're ready, Sharon. She's got something, she wants to thank someone. The local deli lady, Shirley. No, I don't know what Joe actually was. Oh, it's Joe, you've got Joe in on it now, baby. That's where the lovely pastas that and pies My down the village. Is on their Christmas window, how beautiful it is. Yep. Yeah. And she said she had some balls left. Look at them, look. And I think they're smashing. Shall we ain't got a tree big enough? And I thought they'd be nice to make something for Olivia, her in, granddaughter, after Christmas. In, hold them up, Shell, hold them up. In the shop, they've got them sort of at different levels like that. Loads of them. Hanging fantastic. together. You know, so that's what she got. So. You've said thank you. No, Anne. What Where are you going now? I want my cup of tea, baby. What are you waiting for, Jimmy? pancakes. Mummy, Jimmy's waiting for his pancakes as well. You're greedy. And it's Foil, that is, Sharon. Voil. Voil, voil, yeah, voil. But it's a glitter, but I'm going to also, I shall make something for my granddaughter. What are you going to make, baby? I'm going to make her a little blanket with all different materials. You can't make a blanket, yeah, it's full of holes. Comfort thing, comfort thing for her to hold and feel the different... Texture. Different textures. So this is some of the material. What you... Nice and shiny. This is all from Joe, so thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe, from the deli. Another very, little... very pleased. As I say, we, we aren't, we're only plugging them. 
because they have got the most fantastic freshly cooked bread and pies, pies and patties and stuff, aren't they? Pays, all pays. Aren't they? What's the pays? So that's the reason why, anyway. So, again, it's tip, for, tip for tat, Sharon, isn't it? And I've just put you an amplifier up in the roof. Where's my coffee? Tea. Tea? See what I mean? I she thank everybody else apart from me. Is it milky? I'll make more milky for you. Good job, Oh, lovely. So there you go, baby. So anyway, so what else are we doing then? I can't do anything for the moment now. I was all geared up to do that work out there. You've got a very little cabinet building. You've got a little cabinet to do something to that. Cylinder edge. Yeah, but that's a different video, Sharon. That's not in this video. This is a stop that one. This is a sort of a garden the update vlog sort of a video. The triumph videos are all specific. You know they've all got categories and playlists. So that if you don't like this video, this will be in the, the uh, vlog or maybe the gardening playlist. I'm not sure yet. Probably a vlog one. This one will be because I think we've done our last gardening video now. So um, till next year, if and when we do. So you we are. Eh? We are. Doing well, she wants some more stuff. Yes, I don't like it. You're not in shot, like baby. Can you just? I'm doing if, okay. if you if you could stand anywhere just to get out of shot, that was the place where you stood. Yeah? Do boys pancakes? Oh look oh look at this. Come here, come on Jimmy. Here, listen to this, look. He's got one what are they called? Balance board. Balance board, hover board or whatever. So good on it. Look, I think they're dangerous. Look at it. Look, look how look how smooth. <laughs> Oh, yeah, don't go back. <laughs> don't go back look at it. He's got a hole in his trousers. <laughs> now, look at that thing, look. Unbelievable. So, I had a go of it, because years and years ago, I used to be a wizard on the skateboard back in the 70s. Years ago. I come straight off it, and I said, that's a dangerous tool. Buy it away. Gary, his big brother, went on it. How long ago was that, Jimmy? What did you look at the clock for two months ago? He just looked at the clock and said two months ago. He come off it in our living room, Gary. He was giving it all the big one. Last week, he went, no, was it last week? Yeah. He went to the doctor's. I said, what's that for? Oh, a problem with his elbow. And it's since he's fell off of that thing and he's been in pain with it for two months. And because he, he fell off it, didn't he, Sharon? Pancakes. You didn't make them, Sharon. You've heated them up in the toaster, yeah, baby. She's heated them up in the toaster. But I think they're dangerous. Yeah, but you're old. You would do. Well, I'm not old, Sharon. No, you're not his age. You think of the fun. You're falling off and hurting yourself. He's a bloody grown man, Sharon. Yeah, you had a motorbike. That's dangerous. That's not a motorbike. No, I'm saying you're a different thing to what he's got. It's a reaction thing. Speed and reactions. He makes it look, look easy. <laughs> oh. Who is it? Oh, I'm filming, baby. Just open the door, Jim. Who is it? Oh, God, I'm at the door. Shut the door. Who is it? Oh, what do you want? Oh, what do you want? Stay there, dogs. Get back. Hello, mate. What's the matter? Oh, right, yeah. I'm a bit busy at the moment, mate, to be honest with you. Oh, no, we've got. It. Thank you. Hey? No one wanted to answer the door. He's selling pictures. I think his name was Martin as well, funny enough, I did see on it. No one wanted to go to the door. I'm not dressed. Oh, I've got my hair done. I've got an injury to my dog. From my son. He's only trying to earn a living, yeah? I'm not disputing that, you should have bought one then. What picture have I No, that's bribery, I can't, I can't be, I can't. Hey? How do we know he was deaf, baby? You. Unbelievable. Right, well, I don't think I'm going to be able to get out in the garden. It's still raining, Jimmy, isn't it? No. Well, it's wet out there, isn't it? Oh, don't talk. But you can still burn Stop putting things off. This is turned into a vlog anyway, so... Any little chance? No, it's not that shell. I can only do a certain amount of things in the day, can't I? Right, if you're not going to do that, get on that computer and design a magnet fishing t-shirt. So there's lots going on today. It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get out into the garden. It's not going on with me. Eh? So you can't burn wet stuff, baby. So the situation is, it's Sunday, and we normally have a roast on a Sunday. Well, Sunday, so last week, they found a nice bit of river beef. Yeah, I've box. not been well, Sharon, have I? You know that. Baby. I've not been well. So you don't like a roast? No. 
Right, what don't you like about a roast? What part of the roast don't you like? Do you like the meat, the chicken? The... I, I know chicken, really. Right, well, okay, so it's chicken roast. So you like the chicken? Yeah. Do you like uh, vegetables? Some. What vegetables don't you like then? We've got loads of them. <laughs> All right, you ain't got to have the sprouts, that's fair enough. All right, every other vegetable you're okay with? Yeah, maybe. Right, roast potatoes? Right, what about normal potato, mashed potato? Yeah. You can have mashed potato instead. Gravy? No. How can you not have a roast? I wouldn't like that for a face of not having gravy, so did Gary. Very strange. A roast, to me, is the meat, Yorkshire puddings maybe, uh, all the vegetables, roast potatoes, roast parsnips, roast this, that, the other. Maybe a stuffing. Maybe a stuffing. That, fly. that flies in here. On the oven, on the oven. Hold on, wait there, wait there. Where is it? Where is it? On the We've got a big fly in this kitchen. I don't like it. I can hear it buzzing. We'll have to see if we can get hold of it. Could you stop talking with him? Yeah, all right, baby. So, what was I saying? Yeah, all the trimmings. That's what a proper roast should be. And that's what you've been brought up with. And that's what you're having today. <laughs> Do you know, you used to love it as a baby. Yeah, he did actually. All the kids did. Gary's a bit funny with a roast and all now, so I don't yeah. know why. Perhaps Funny Equal Dies didn't give it to you, but you eat it. I've had it every Sunday for 18 years. Yeah, yes, happy wonderful. days. You love it. Wonderful. And you don't have it every Sunday. Well, keep an eye out for her anyway. Anyway, we're going to tinker on anyway. I might, I might have a look at doing something else, but. You are. I've said that I'm going to do something else, baby. She's got to sort all the decorations up and clean up and that. I've got to maybe catch this fly. I've got to spend a lot of time trying to catch this fly now with this high voltage zapping gun. And uh, we'll see you again in the next video. Me and my little baby. As you can see, I'm, I'm nearly over my virus at the moment, eh? Um, no, I'm wet. I got caught in the rain, didn't I? I have not worked hard enough to work up a sweat. I didn't see that. <laughs> you and your little lippy bumpy on her lippy there. Look, how about that? Eh? So say to to everyone. Thank you everyone for coming. Thank you. Yeah, and we'll see you again in the next video. Maybe a vlog, maybe a triumph video, we don't know yet. I won't bother you with the rest of this clearing up lot because it's raining, I'm going to be in and out all day. So we'll see you again in the next video. Until later. Merry Christmas. No, bye for now. Merry Christmas and bye for now. It's not Christmas yet, baby. It's December. Say, so do it, bye for now. Bye for now. Bye for now. See you later, bye. It's, it's not yet, Sharon. I'm putting the tray up. Unbelievable. He's left that blinking skateboard on the floor here, look. Unbelievable. And he's gone upstairs. Unbelievable.